Well, uh, we would uh, like to once again thank our subsidiary organization, MAG Fest, for uh, hosting us once again here. At, uh, it does make for a very good front for our criminal activity, or uh, not criminal activity. Thank this you. This is being recorded, isn't thank it? Thank you. I didn't thank you. say criminal activity. There's certainly not. You can't prove it. There's no recording unless there is. Allegedly. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Allegedly. Remember, deniability is did, key as a grunt. Did we hit the button? I think we hit the button. Well, we hit a button. Hopefully oh. it was the right one. We hit several buttons. How many buttons did you create, Sean? I may have made multiple buttons. Some of them were red. Some of them said self-destruct on them. I don't know how many you personally hit, Kevin. <laughs> well, there was that minor explosion in the exhibit hall a couple hours ago. So, so we can mark off self-destruct button number three, then. Oh, good, good. Uh, speaking of crazy happenings, uh, we would like to go over uh, some of our more recent exploits. Uh, for instance, I would like to announce that the Galar project was a success. Uh, and for, for those of you who might not be familiar, we succeeded in stealing so many Pokemon from Galar that they had to delete most of the entries from the Pokedex <laughs> in that area. It is absolutely the finest hour of the acquisitions department, and I thank you all for your contributions to this. You'll note that there are no Zubat to be found there. Why? Because we have them all. Speaking of, you're welcome. Speaking of which, if you're in the market for a new Zubat, if yours has gone flat or something, come by my lab on Monday. We'll we'll kick you out with I don't know how many how many Pokemon can you carry these days? Eight, ten, something like that. We'll give you all the Zubats you can carry. We do have one question, though, Rocket Admin Sean. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it's really we're getting rid of all the Zubats that we're using. What is, what is the well, purpose wait, so, of Team Rocket, we're being sir? Do we not heroes? steal Pokemon? Is it not good that we've stolen all of the Pokemon? Well, no, no. Well, Allegedly. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, Allegedly. But to be fair, if in this case we're St. Patrick, that means we're being heralded as heroes and get a holiday where people drink heavily and have a great time. Ooh, this sounds like a win-win. I Saint want to St. Rocket's Day. St. Rocket's Ooh. Day. I like it. St. Rocket's Day. What's what's today? January third. I think we can make that happen. Uh, it's actually the fourth. The fourth. Now. I see. Now, Saint January Rocket's right. Day will not be a rocket holiday that you have to take off. Unfortunately, you will have to come to work. <sighs> <laughs> now, yes. For the rocket holiday, are we uh, running out Ekans or Survivors? Because those are two. Uh, your choice. Oh, your choice. Oh, Both. I like that. Both. Both, Both is good. Ekans and Survivor, please. Both is good. Do bring extra antidotes. <laughs> uh, now, unfortunately, not all of our uh, exploits are always successful. There are always stumbles in any organization. I don't blame you all for that mission. Mm. Mm, but, absolutely. Uh, we all know how the last mission went, and uh, it is important to take a moment to remember uh, the lessons we've learned, so, despite uh, any road bumps. Now, we, we don't even need to discuss what the actual mission was. Absolutely. I'm sure you all remember mm -hmm. what that mission was. Yeah. We do. Yes. Now then, Definitely. of lessons learned, I know that uh, for my part, Thank you. The important Legend. mission. Yes, the very important mission. The super secret mission. If you don't know about the mission, you weren't supposed to know about the mission. No, the reason that the mission Thank failed you. was because some of them were supposed to know about the mission but didn't know about the mission. Anyway, yeah, it, so it, would that it, be it lesson really... one would be letting slightly more people know about the mission because it happens to run directly under their residence? Well, yes. Uh, we have a question out there. Uh, yes. We will discuss that later in the agenda. I have several planned. <laughs> if uh, it, slightly closer, mission accomplished. If you've, uh, if you've been <laughs> accomplished, on the there we go. Mission accomplished. Successful mission. 
<laughs> Duly noted. Uh, we had another question over here. Yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, are we allowed to uh, add the new obstacle to our repertoire? Uh, the question was if we're allowed to add obstagoon to our repertoire. Oh, absolutely. Well, for for higher level grunts, for certain. Uh, l uh, initiate grunts may need to... Go with the zigzagoon for now. Yes. If, if you can get an obstagoon on your team, you can go ahead and use it. Just make sure that that uh, heavy metal band doesn't try and sue you for infringement. Are we even allowed to say their name? Stunfists? Mm. What about Sunfists? Those yes, are uh, I, I have those. Yes, the, the, the bear trap Pokemon are valid and also terrifying. Uh, that actually might be a bit of a spoiler ahead for some of the mm. health benefit concerns. It's always been Team Rocket policy. Whatever Pokemon you acquire before you join Team Rocket or while joining Team Rocket, are allowed. However, you get one standard issue Zubat, and I've gotten 3,000 requests for a Wooloo, but, you know, unfortunately, we're not dealing with that just yet. We're still on yet. Mareep Wool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Need, need Wooloos. I, I have a thought. I have a thought. I I maybe, I maybe we can bring up the Wooloo issue again. Uh, when we talk about the HR selections that we have to talk about later in this uh, I, meeting. I just would like to say for the record, I'd like to say for the record, I think the bears have it. Whoa. All right, we've heard your feedback. I'm making the executive decision that there will be standard issue Wooloo. We have I have to two, do something to stay popular. We have two very happy questions over there. Uh, the the bearded gentleman. Yes. Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike. Oh. Uh, yes, is there a uh, hashtag so our members off-site can participate in the Q&A tonight? There most certainly is, thank you for asking. You can tweet uh, hashtag Team Rocket Summit and uh, we will keep track of things here or if you have any friends that are viewing, I don't think we're live streaming, but you can tweet there or raise your hands. But, uh, oh, please. Uh, lessons learned, actually, going back for just a moment. I do uh, want to say that, uh, as a lesson learned, we need to have uh, some protection against paper cuts. Yeah. That really Absolutely. ruined phase three, didn't it? Agreed, as yes, it was unfortunate. As the head of legal affairs, please. Protection against paper cuts. Yes, protection. Against Especially when submitting things in triplicate. So uh, m my, my lesson learned for, uh, for that mission is that the capacitance of a Voltorb is about 15% under what it says on the box. Mm. Oh, that explains so much. Is that why we had an outage during the middle? Uh, that and was not unrelated. And why we had an outage. That is both... Afterwards. Very reaffirming and not detailed enough. So fun fact, Rotoms Delightful. don't have a great capacitance either. Mm. <laughs> so if you You're added not five doing anything more good. Voltorbs, would that solve the problem? Would what solve the problem? If you added five more Voltorbs, would that solve the problem? So the issue Wait. we're running into there is a mass charge distribution problem. Shoving more Voltorbs into the same space involves decreasing the volume of each individual Voltorb, which mm -hmm. I can't do outside of a proper laboratory. But that's only if right, you're stacking them in... That's way too complicated, even for me. That's yeah. only if you're stacking them in series, though. I believe we have a fellow in yellow up here. Thank you. Hi, yes, this is a question for both the science branch and HR. Yes. yes. That's always an inter interesting intersection. Uh, it's actually directly related to capacitance. I have some colleagues in the European branch who would like to know what our operatives disguised as campers and bikers have done with all of the humans they accidentally caught as garbage catch, Ooh. and why there is a complete dearth of Galarian natives in the wild zone. 
What is I'm you? I'm going to turn this oh, over to HR. It's where Kalos and Galar are, obviously. So I, I'm going to turn this question over completely to HR, the way I do everything that I don't want to deal with myself. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I think po uh, our subsidiary Pokemon uh, Team Rocket Go is unfortunately in charge of the European branch, so unfortunately you'll have to raise issue with them. And they're very busy spinning things and earning quite quite a quite a number of Poke dollars. Yeah, I, I do I, admit. I've never understood how spinning things generated money. I don't see how it's a viable economic well, model. That actually brings us to the next point on the agenda, sir. Um, the team, team Go Rocket, uh, so these, these poke stops and gyms that are just out there in the world, if we send our agents there and they just spin them, potions and revives and pokeballs just spawn in midair. And it's fantastic. It's infinite money. I've never understood, like, if they're reaching into a pocket dimension somehow, that how's that even working? I have no idea, but I am not one to look a gift pony top in the mouth on this. Especially not a Galarian gift ponyta. Uh. <laughs> but yes, uh, do uh, take things up with Team Rocket Go. They uh, are the ones that are in charge of that because we do have to delegate. Over here. Okay. Uh, yes, speaking of the uh, gym system, what are the allegations that yourself, Mr. Giovanni, are partaking in a very non-Team Rocket organization, the Pokemon League, as a gym leader? What, what are you doing? How dare you? There's a very simple explanation. Tell us, I'm scandalized, sir. Shocked that you would participate in the Pokemon League. I have to keep up a front somehow. Plus, how else do you think we get all that external funding? At I've least been it's not siphoning about your stuff from the Pokemon son. League. What's more evil than embezzlement? To sir, be with, with <laughs> sir, to be fair, with Team Rocket Go, we have infinite money. Mm. Do well, you that really particular need currency. your old job at the League? Well, the trouble is, infinite money no in increases. that particular uh, currency has caused massive inflation, so it's actually all worthless. So, I, I do have to say, in, in, in reference to that gym leader comment, when the other four of us on the board are doing 99% of the work, what else is he to do with his day? I, I wouldn't. Have I wouldn't go that far. 0.1% voting power. <laughs> Old I of you to me. I remind the grunts over in the far left corner. Uh, uh, no, no. The credit where credit is due. There was a vote of no confidence. <laughs> Kevin, how do you vote your 1% share? <laughs> I vote in confidence of our great leader Giovanni. All right, Doug. How do you vote? <laughs> Doug, how do you vote your 1% share? I vote competence. <laughs> Peter, how do you vote your 1% share? Uh, I will vote present on this. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to abstain with my 1% share. Giovanni, how do you vote your 96% share? <laughs> Bold of you 95%. to assume this is a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, that illegitimate son of yours, he's doing quite well in the Johto region. Yes, that uh, we, we actually went to therapy last year and we've made amends that um, I'm actually going on vacation with him next week. Thank you, Admin Peter. Unfortunately, <laughs> therapeutic sessions are being cut from the health benefits next year. Damn it. Okay, well, if therapeutic sessions are being cut uh, and reduced, what are we getting in exchange? Because I know that you've been doing some extensive work because there are a lot of strange injuries that grunts have to deal with and itemize. Considering our last outing, uh, milk tank tipping was not very fruitful as a lot of people got rolled out. I would say that 
I would say that Cacturn acupuncture is now in, surprisingly, mm. and we will get 75 Cacturn acupuncture sex sessions a year. Oh, no, uh, no. Is that per grunt or per organization? Yes. <laughs> Kevin, I, I understand that cacturn acu acupuncture is expensive. What are you proposing that we cut from our current health care package to make room for it? Mm. Unfortunately, Machamp massages will have to be downgraded to Machoke massages. Ooh. Really? That's half the hands. Half to, the hands, Kevin. To be fair. Two hands is still suitable. Ah! Well... Well, the to, to give some background on this, uh, there's a lot of ways that you can get hurt by Pokemon, and the health insurance companies have all of these itemized separately, because the only thing more evil than a massive criminal syndicate is healthcare companies. <laughs> So, not to worry, though, not to worry. All Zubat and Zubat adjacent Pokemon are, and the injuries related to them are all still covered. I have an HR question. Oh, if we have a yes. doctor's note. If I have a doctor's note, can I get a Galara Weezing for <laughs> pain oh. relief? Oh. I well, can't imagine that a situation I like where that. a Galara and Weezing would be actively beneficial to your health? Yeah. I, I, I'm assuming it, you're talking an asthma doctor's note. Now, are, are we talking to have a Galarin wheezing or to actively be stationed to, in a place without Galarin wheezing? Considering that to we make developed... use of a personal Galarin wheezing, uh, I, I have a further question to add on to that. I'm a doctor. Can I write his note? <laughs> Yes and yes. Considering that you're the one who developed the Galarian wheezing, shouldn't you be the one who knows everything about it? I mean, it's one of my breakthroughs in gene therapy. So the answer is yes. And speaking of which, so gene therapy... This will be in your performance you, review, unfortunately. Yes. Hey, I, I'd like to just say that were you responsible for Galarian Meowth? Now, now, mm. now, boss... Don't be mad. Don't be mad. No one is responsible for Galarian Meowth. It's an abomination of nature. I cannot take credit. That's fair. That's fair. That thing's terrifying. I want an elegant cat, not a whatever that is. That's is. long cat. That's long cat. All I, I see. You just gesture to all of it. Literally all, right. all of it. We have a couple of hands over here. Hi, I work with the younger grunt initiates, and we're wondering if there's going to be some sort of mentorship program because they want someone to look up to. Absolutely. Are you volunteering to head it up? Sure. Then yes. Fantastic. Hey. Uh, get with HR after the, uh, after the meeting. Uh, I, I'm sure HR always loves to delegate responsibility and things like that. You're now in charge of that. <laughs> but you also get the fancy title for it too. So, to be to be fair, uh, thank, you. thank you. To be fair, to be fair, um, be, being a rocket grunt isn't so much something you learn as something you just kind of do Double over you. time. So. That and being persuaded. Uh, I, I don't. By I don't want to say the on word. A bridge, apparently. I don't want to say the words. Just be evil, but I was, I'm very specifically not saying that to that camera over there. So, for uh, parentheses, I legal reasons. Yes. Over here in the red. Ooh. Hi, Grunt Chungus here. I'm just wondering, I'm a high-level Grunt and a Zubat specialist. I have two mm. Golbat that I maintain and train under my wing, so to speak, you see. So they do exist. That's my question, though. I'm being transferred over to the Galar region in a few months, and I'm just wondering what Pokemon a Zubat specialist such as myself can train in that region, and if my retraining program will be covered under my policy. 
Mm. Yes, I think we will re uh, cover the retraining, and I think that brings us nicely into which starter we are going to train our grunts into. Yes, actually, uh, because uh, there are three fine starters now. This is besides the uh, standard issue Wulu that is going to be held up, so you're going to get a Wulu and then one of the three starters, but we do need to decide which. Now, just, just to make sure, so all of our grunts are on the same page, can we go over what those three starters are? Are. Yes, that uh, there's Scorbunny, the fire rabbit, uh, Sobble, the water chameleon, and Grookey, the grass Woo! monkey. Shall we take a vote of funky well, by okay. noise then? Well, we'll take a vote after just a bit of discussion. Does anybody have pros or cons to a particular one of the Galaran starters? Yes, Wednesday. Grunt no, Adams, Saturday. what do you have to say? <laughs> Uh, I believe it's Friday. for Score Bunny, it does match the aesthetic of our uniforms. Mm. It is red. It's true. Uh, that's, that's true. That's, that's a good Very one. Nice. It does. It does. Uh, over here. Yes. Yes, Long Cat. Um, con for Inteleon, it looks like it's judging me constantly. Oh. And now, I is that a pro or a con? A that's con. a con. That's fair. Noted. I don't need it to tell me I lost <laughs> yeah. any more than I already have. Uh, the grunt over here. You're getting your workout. Uh, yes, Team Rocket Internal Affairs. I think the obvious choice is Sobble. The other two are just far too ostentatious. Mm. Mm. Good to know, good to know. I believe we have someone uh, representing the grass monkey, that funky monkey in the back. <laughs> <laughs> we, have a, we have a Grookey supporter. Thank you. Uh, yes, I believe that Grookey is the obvious choice because we are the Grookey gang, and in the Japanese division, they go by Rocket Gang, so I feel it's only appropriate Ooh. to go with Grookey. Ooh. Well, there's he it actually makes translate. a good point. He makes a good point. Uh, gentlemen, uh, way over here. Thank you so much to our runner, by the way. <laughs> Field acquisitions, I took yep. that fair and square. She did. Who am I going? Considering when I realized that that was what was. Uh, Necessary for the role. <laughs> that gentleman in the back. That gentleman in the back. Thank you. <laughs> so, th thank you again to uh, Admin Reese, our field acquisitions expert. Go ahead. What were you gonna say, sir? All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. We, we we've been talking about Zubat, Wulu, Galarian, Weezing, the starters, and all that. Okay, but. Where is the Agumon that I requested last oh. year? So I, I can I can actually speak to this. It is currently growing in my clone chambers in my lab. If you want to stop by, I'm I'm sure I could use something as a nutrient bath for it. Yourself would be uh, perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Just grind you up into a fine meat paste for it. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everyone, it will be fine. Where am I going next, Everything boss? Everything is fine. I, I think maybe two more, and then we should hold a vote. Sounds good. Yes. Uh, gentleman right over there. The uh, with, with the glasses, yes. I can't, I can't see. <laughs> yes, I would like to make a case for Inteleon as our go-to starter, because as we know, we've, have a, we've had a little bit of problem with espionage in our organization, so much so to the point that in our very successful casino operations, it was easily infiltrated. So having a secret agent Pokemon as our go-to seems the best choice. So you're, you're not so much pro Intellion, you're counter Intellion. I see. <laughs> okay. Well, while I do appreciate that uh, the most uh, espionage is that problem that we've had is that people have evolved their EVs at the wrong time of day and we've ended up with Umbreonage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the gentleman in the blue hat here and uh, then we'll be holding the vote. Yes. Uh, yes, um, I'm just curious. Um, <clears throat> let me compose myself here. Um, are there any plans to capture Zacian and Zamazenta, and how are we going to go about that and not screw that up like we did with Mewtwo? Hmm. I am Don't hurt. remind me I am of hurt the Mewtwo. that you would bring up the Mewtwo situation as the head of HR, uh, sorry, not HR, R&D on that project. <laughs> I, I maintain that the power armor worked 
perfectly fine. And I am going to absolutely defend that acquiring the Mewtwo worked perfectly fine. Uh, there were no problems with that. It was entirely a containment breach. I would also like to remind you all of the legality of the situation. Well, Currently, we cannot discuss this as it is still a self matter that must be decided upon. And none of us here can speak of it. Well, that's assuming that it's even on the public record in the first place. I put it on the public so, record. In order Luckily, to get back, as a self matter. In order to Luckily get back in, to the original question, I job. do not believe we currently have any plans for those particular legendaries, uh, what with the power armor not actually containing them. Do you have any recommendations for non-legendary Pokemon we could put in power armor, though? What would look amazing? Specifically of the three Galarin starters, which would look best in power armor? Wooloo. Okay. There we go. So I think we're holding four votes. All right. Well, well hold on. So... <laughs> We've captured Pikachu. The problem is those That's two particular grunts who seem really obsessed thinking that I want a Pikachu. We, <laughs> Jesse and James, they're on the books. I, hey, I keep them on the payroll because, I mean, have you seen them? They've survived how many falls from terminal velocity? That's impressive. And it's a power that I am quite happy to have just at our organization's disposal and to research because, geez, I still don't know how they survive that stuff. Mm. Boss? Luckily, surprisingly enough, they don't use any of our health benefits. Boss, I'm mm. the one who studies them, and I'm the one who gives them their physical evaluations, and I still don't understand how they survive it. <laughs> Oh, they're on the payroll. I mean, Everyone's they get deducted for all the stuff because we fund all those machines that then get blown up and cause them to uh, go way up into the stratosphere and then fall from terminal velocity and somehow survive so on seemingly a weekly basis. Functionally, I think they pay us around $32 a month. <laughs> that sounds about right. They're in debt about 2,000 Poké Dollars, unfortunately. Only? Oh, good. That means they've actually paid a bit back. I'm pretty sure James's family can just sneeze and it'll go away. Eh, so. At least it's a source of income. But anyways, to the vote. <laughs> so, uh, to the vote. who would like to have Sobble as the official Galarian starter? <laughs> Respectable. 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 Who would like chilling. Score Bunny? <laughs> Who would like Grookey? <laughs> that, se that seemed really close. Hold up, so, hold up, also, hold up. Also, it seemed very close, so I'll, I'll try this then. How about instead of that, who would just want a second Wooloo? <laughs> I think we have an overwhelming. So, boss, I'm hearing that uh, for each Team Rocket grunt in the Gala region will be three Zubats. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Aye. 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 All right, I think so, motion passes. No, I don't think there should be three any Zubats. opposition because, uh, frankly, we acquired all of the Zubats and we need to do something with them. So, yeah. three Zubat and two Wooloo. No yes. Day. Okay. <laughs> Good with that. Okay, with that. Now, there is the question though of uh, for the Turf War funding project. So we have these die-hard fans of those three starters. The plan initially was going to be, all right, we have our one starter, and then how do we pit the other two against each other? But in this case, how do we just create a triangular turf war between the Grookey Gang, the Sobble Squad, and is it also the Score Bunny Squad? Is it two squads? Score Bunny Battalion. Score Bunny Battalion. Uh, it doesn't have the alliteration, but still sounds all right. So how do we pit them against each other? So I've got a thought, boss. Oh. Oh dear. Why don't we arrange things so that random ten-year-olds 
get different ones of them, and they're bound to argue with each other over which is best. Mm. Mm -hmm. Middle school sucks. It really does. Even not only, I not only that, like but middle school. Ten year olds have this weird mystical power that we can't get around. So if we can keep them bickering for a full year, I think we're okay with eleven year olds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. The eleven year olds reason. That's apparently a good sell it because apparently all the marks are pawn shops that don't actually verify that uh, these might have been stolen. I mean, it's if weird. we're going to steal something and sell it at a pawn shop, that's one thing. But for a 10-year-old to be just like finding large lumps of gold, that's fair. That's fair. Well, uh, I do have a suggestion of how we could pit all of them against each other. Memes. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. Hmm? Uh, naturally, there will be dank memes. As dank, dank as a Galarian wheezing. <laughs> there we go. It's come full circle. I'd like to make a note that in the arcade, the Grookey Gang has already set up quite, quite an extensive operation yeah. with those Tycho drums. You know, did we, did we authorize that payment? Well, we didn't authorize it. Our subsidiary Magfest authorized mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's on their books. So, so if the Grookey Gang has the Tycho drum games down in the arcade, what would be good Sobble and Score Bunny games down in the arcade? I think Score Bunny, uh, the best we have right now would be the... Um one of those soccer games? Score Bunny's got an entire league games. dedicated to it. Dance games. Score Bunny's all set. Dance games. Groove Coaster! Groove Coaster. I hear Groove Coaster. I like it. What is this Groove Thank you, Coaster Wang. you speak of? <laughs> we'll take care of that right. after the summer. We'll, we'll look into Groove Coaster. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, and I mean, and for, for Sobble, you, you just have Golden Eye. No. No? No Golden Eye? No Golden Eye? There is a game in which you can just wash yourself with Donkey Kong. And I think that that should be. The, the scrubbing Donkey Kong game. Yes, I've seen that one in the indie arcade. It, no, it's there. It's yeah, there. no, I've, I've seen it. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It, it even has this uh, delightful uh, uh, inflatable uh, pool that's uh, filled with bubbles. It's delightful. Do go to the uh, indie arcade if you haven't. To support those uh, independent developers. They make good stuff. Because some, no. some of those may be rocket shell companies. You don't know. Only I do. Oh dear. If we, do we even have tweets? I can guarantee you have tweets. Well, well I'm taking care of that and looking those up. Uh, I believe that we have some uh, R&D projects to discuss, so we I'll do. look through these. Uh, we do. We have uh, two ongoing R&D projects. Would you like to hear about the gene therapy project or the super weapon project? Uh, super weapon super is. Super weapon. Super right. weapon. We, uh, we alluded to this a little bit earlier, uh, but as we know with the Mewtwo incident, the power armor was not the problem. What Pokemon would be best in power armor? I think, like, uh, we, we heard a strong contingent for Wooloo. I personally think that Rhydon in power armor would look fucking badass. It's fair. It's fair. I mean, what? <laughs> what about power armor on top of that? What do you, what do you th d down, the, down the line, admins, what Pokemon do you think would be amazing in power armor? Well, while, while I agree that Rhydon in power armor absolutely looked while I agree that Rhydon in Power Armor absolutely looks like a metal album, uh, I am going to vote for Shaman, actually. Uh, I think that Legendary uh, Pursuit was not the problem. Shaman has the uh, advantage of already having a proven transformative quality. You want a Chia Pet in Power Armor? Yes. Yes. Okay, I can I get on board. I would love to see a little ball of steel wool that can also grow wings. <laughs> okay. Boss, do you have any ideas? Baby Yoda! Well, all right. Well, so anyways, I have been reading the, uh, some of the tweets that have been coming in. And the, oh, okay. We're we doing have, that. Well, 
but we, we could potentially incorporate these ideas somehow. So uh, one of the particular goals that several grunts have asked for is the acquisition of Baby Yoda. <laughs> I'm not armor. familiar with that species of Pokemon. In Apparently, this is the way. ah, that'll do it. I haven't been to Aloha. <laughs> Oh, I know. I have spoken. Oh, Lord. Going back to your previous <laughs> power armor, I think the best, uh, the best Pokemon would be an unladen swallow. An unladen swallow? An unladen swallow. African? Pray tell, what would a swallow be laden with? I, I, power <laughs> armor. Now, now here's armor. now now here's my question. Or possibly executive. What what would be the airspeed velocity? <laughs> Zero. Zero. Okay, I like that. Zero. Would it be? Are we talking about a Sinnoh region or Kanto region? So here's the thing. If if we do a swallow, I don't know. I think I can build scram jets into it. <laughs> I thought that was your Skarmory project. I mean, six Scarish? of one, a dozen of the other. Mm. Half dozen? So, um, in, in, terms of, in terms of what I would love to most see in power armor, mm -hmm. I appreciate the Snom input. It was delightful. I, I appreciate the Sinisty input. Um, Sinisty is delightful. It's true. Um, my, my choice would probably have to be Houndoom. Yes! So. Houndoom in power armor. Houndoom in power armor. I think I might have a new contestant for metal album. Ooh. <laughs> Houndoom in, Houndoom in power just, armor it's just versus a, Rhydon in pedal armor as uh, power armor as the cover of a metal it's album. Just, it's okay, just that's a, just a glory hammer album. That just sounds like it sounds like a terrible metal cover band. Just Houndoom in power armor. Oh, I expect God. to see them frontlining the next oh, MAGFest. No. Oh, no. <laughs> but uh, we have a couple suggestions or questions here. Yeah. Why, don't, why don't we just use Jesse and James, seeing as they're already indestructible? Oh. Put Jesse and James yeah. in, in power armor? armor? No, okay, on yes. a Pokemon. No, 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 no. Put them, put them on a Pokemon as power armor. No. Oh. Here's the thing. Those two... Uh, already have the perfect balance of indestructible and stupid. dispensable. <laughs> oh, I was gonna I was gonna say stupid, but that works. You'd be surprised the power arm would get destroyed first and then there would just be Jesse and James standing there. Yeah. They don't age. Yeah, I'd like to retain my power armor prototypes after the test if possible. I think we have a couple more. Yes. Uh, might I suggest Toxel as a power armor baby tantruming and using Ooh. electric and poison type moves as their full power and then evolving into Toxicricity, which is just a angry teen? Mm -hmm. I think both of those options really would uh, stir up some lovely trouble. An angry poison electric teen in power armor. In power armor. A baby. That actually Ooh. sounds really good. A baby specifically in a diaper. Wait, no, wait, baby Yoda in power armor. So, uh, how about the uh, the blinking glasses? Uh, hello, my name is Zentar, destroyer of planets, and I believe that if we could allocate some of our funding to equipping our magic carp with power armor, they could then um, splash our opponents to with a force that they have never been splashed upon before, and I think. Oh yeah. Now that's evil. Now, that's a good idea, really. That is an interesting idea, and uh, I think that ties into one of the potential schemes that I had planned. Yeah, so so here's, here's one of the things, though. Magikarp has the ability to splash over mountains. Can you imagine a Magikarp in power armor landing on you at terminal velocity? <laughs> I shudder I think, to think of I it. Think he's I shudder to something. think of it happening within 100 miles of me. <laughs> hey, diddle diddle, the cat on the fiddle, the Magikarp splashed over the moon. Yes. <laughs> As that's the nursery rhyme we all learned, yes. Uh, over here. You gotta give me more than just over here. Uh, gorillas. The gentleman uh, in, in white shirt. White shirt. White shirt. shirt. That's oh. one of those ones. What? White, white shirt. shirt. Thank white you. Shirt. White shirt, okay. It's not white. Uh, there's white in there. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, uh, Council. 
Um, power armor question. Uh, I, so, hey, uh, minor research brand, Orange Islands. Um, I hear that other professors, other research teams are working on incrugating uh, our current technology in Pokemon. Have you considered just a set of power armor and infuse a, what is that, Rotom into it? Ooh, so, Rotom armor. Thank you. Rotom armor. So okay. a Rotom okay. is the main power source of the, like, uh, instead of using fusion cores or whatever like you see in Fallout, I plug a Rotom in to power the armor. This so does... it's, it's Rotom plus the armor plus whatever Pokemon we put into it. Now, unfortunately, this does mean that there has to be a conversation between the Rotom and whatever Pokemon we put into, but usually they don't argue too much. <laughs> and, usually. Uh, it's really helpful when I'm uh, trying to get them to or from the storage cabinets. I can just tell the Rotom to walk from the testing bench to the storage cabinet to put it away. It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> uh, in the Pikachu outfit. Mimikyu hat. I love it. It's totally oh, it's a Pikachu. Pikachu. It is a Pikachu. You're right. It's a Pikachu. I'm sorry. A Pikachu. It's a Pikachu. Absolutely a Pikachu. You're right. I suggest we give the power armor to a Grim Snarl mm. and also give it a pair of Tims. It'll be unstoppable. Think about it. It give can it. manhandle a Machamp with one hand. Mm. So, so would the would the power armor go over the body hair? Is that where we're going? It'll be an extension of his power. Okay, okay, an extension of it. Okay. I see. Why haven't we I, discussed? I think, I, I think maybe uh, one more input for power armor. Uh, the the gorilla uh, outfit up here. So we were talking about how the Rotom works with the Pokemon, right? Mm. Hear me out. Snorlax mm. never gives the Rotom lip. Snorlax doesn't want to move. Rotom moves it for him. Mm. And nothing packs a punch like a Snorlax. That dude's got a tree on his belly. A Rotom-powered Snorlax. Yeah. I like it. That's you, you legitimately like it. terrifying. I like it. <laughs> so expenses go down a little bit because you got to feed him with the berries, but... Yeah. I mean... All right, I, I, think, I think I know what my next uh, power armor build is. Fantastic. Right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, uh... Ed and Peter, you were mentioning a couple uh, prospective schemes that you had in mind. Yes, and uh, the Magikarp touched on one of them. So, uh, so for upcoming projects, uh, we have the resources free and available to pursue one of these projects, and I would oh like dear. to posit it first to my fellow admins. Uh, I have two or three ideas of what to do next. The first would be a Magikarp pyramid scheme for distribution. And the other, I was thinking possibly slowpoke racing. So, so to confirm, Magikarp pyramid scheme, you buy two Magikarp from us, sell one Magikarp to a friend, buy two more Magikarp from us, they buy from us, that, that's what you're going with? Yes, absolutely, and we would be sourcing it to non-affiliated folks. Because we all know that uh, one Magikarp plays 500 eggs, and then 500 of those Magikarp play 500 more eggs, and $500 per Magikarp, and you're a millionaire. That, uh, that's the line, right? Absolutely. Absolutely? <laughs> Uh, I've been waiting all night for that one. <laughs> so, and, and the other one was slowpoke racing. Yes. So we're moving away from the tail harvesting. Well, if we turn them into race animals, no one cares terribly much what happens to the losers. If you take off the tail, they mm. go faster. Less weight. Mm. Mm. But how long will these races take? Years. Uh, I, no, no, no. I think I can cut it down to weeks if we shorten the track properly. <laughs> okay, okay. But, uh, but if that's the case, then it's less races, so less revenue. Actually, no, what am I saying? Live in-race betting. You can live stream it. Live, live stream live with streaming. changing odds as we go. Ooh. Twitch plays slowpoke racing? Yes. I like that idea. The, mm, the only issue I'm seeing with this is that in terms of purely legal aspects of both of those, the first is a little more feasible. The second, the slowpoke racing would be difficult to hide from Jenny's. That's, that's the big problem with it. Well, do, do, we have to, uh, do we have to get the game corner up and running again for that? 
ooh, so we, we get the game corner up and running, we put the slow pokes in power armor, and we have them race. I think we can how many, forget about the power armor. How many sets of power armor do we have? <laughs> if we expand, if we expand the game corner area into the store next door, the, our more lucrative clients can easily go into the back and do so. And even better, we can have moving tiles for the slow poke. Spinning tiles are so good. We, we do need a use for all of those. Yeah, we still have like too many. Too many spinning tiles too in storage. Many. Sean, I'm glad would you it be able to gym? use slow poke racing with teleporters and spinning tiles? So I have, I have a plethora of uh, various tiles that we could uh, put on, put on the, the racetrack. I don't know how that would affect the outcome of the race or how long it takes, though. What if a slowpoke gets in an infinite loop? Well, his odds will get better and her odds will be higher and higher. As or will he, the odds be lower because they're never actually going to make it to ooh. the finish line? What? I, I, never I, know. I'm just you imagining know. watching this and it just sounds so boring. I, well, I have another idea. Instead of live betting, what we can do is let people buy obstacles like teleporters and spinny tiles to put in front of other slowpoke. Microtransactions? Now that's evil. That's incredibly Microtransaction evil. Microtransaction race betting? Yes. I think I don't even need to bring out the third option. Excellent. Excellent. All I like right. this idea. Slowpoke racing with live betting microtransactions and spinning tiles. All right. It's a, Fantastic. There's a complete lack of deniability at that point, but hey, it's money. <laughs> yeah, more and more regions are legalizing sports gambling now, so we might actually be able to have it on the books. That's fair. But of course, we're not going to pay taxes on that. Of course. Definitely not. I'll find a way. <laughs> All right, so we have just a few minutes left, so uh, I think we should open, uh, open it up to general Q&A. Yes. General Q&A. Over here in the front with the R. So on the topic of teleport tiles, and uh, there was a previous conversation about uh, compensation for injuries, um, I was assigned to Sulfco a while ago, and my partner and I ended up on a teleport tile together, and now I have two left feet. What's the compensation for that? We had kind of a fly incident. Uh, we will absolutely cover your new dancing lessons. Fantastic. Thank you. Luckily enough, Ludicolo are in season. Good. So uh, I think the idea was uh, if we could have people who uh, are doing questions form a queue, that would be fantastic. Yes, so if you have any questions, uh, line up right in the center. Meanwhile, I'll go through just a couple of tweets. Uh, Please make it easier on our rocket admin, Reese. Thank you. Uh, going through a couple of tweets that we have here. Stan Golden Deerling, yes. Are we bringing back the 401k plan? Yes, we are bringing back the 401k plan and the 402 plan. I was not plan. notified of this. Why is my blue eyes not listening to my orders? Do you have enough badges? It's always about the badges with them. Are we bringing Oh, with back the Pokemon League again. Ooh. Sorry. You, you up were the answering Pokemon a question League. about badges, and yeah. so Grunt Eric was asking about the Pokemon League. Now remember, that is my public-facing persona, so I can't give that out. We so don't need to... no stinking badges. <laughs> so what's right. your question? What do you have for us, Grunt anyway. Eric? Anyway. Going back 20 years-ish now of confirmed cases of synthetic rare candy replication, I think I speak for all of us here when I say, where is my 100 level Zubat? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, you know, I, Boston, where I, is our Zubat level 100? So, so with the, uh, with the, with the influx of Zubats from our stealing all of the Zubats from the Galar region, and the technology coined by Professor, uh, what's his face in Go, Will Professor Oak. Hot Stuff. Um, <laughs> 20 years! I can now grind up excess Zubats to make Zubat candy and get you your 100 level Zubat. He makes a good point. As for then the, why don't I have it? Well, well, because you haven't filled the necessary paperwork. 
The other yes. answer regarding 20 years ago was uh, uh, we did acquire all that rare candy, but all of it was then mysteriously digitized and corrupted by the entity that is only classified as missing no. Mm. Hello, Council. Uh, this is hopefully Giovanni HR. Um, following a little bit of paper trail and news of the recent Go stuff or old Canto stuff, I just want to know um, are, uh, if you have any news on this like Arno Fellow Cliff or notably old uh, Jimmy leaders from the Canto League of uh, if. Uh, I think there's evidence of Blaine being a member of the organization, but what's word of Sabrina or this LT Surge? Thank you. Mm, LT Surge, aka uh, Lightning America, I believe is the code name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so Surge and I both immigrated to Kanto from America many years ago. He's a he's a great fellow. I, it's a shame I never got him to join. Mm. I still don't understand why he uh, always had all those trash cans in his gym. It just seemed really weird. It's because his gym is trash. He was obsessed. Oh. He was obsessed with hygiene. Next. 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 Yes, Grookey Gang, what do we got? Uh, circling back to them real quick. I know Team Go Rocket is our most latest addition, um, mm -hmm. but after they lose their battles, they are giving away the Pokemon that they have uh, been given to them. I, I'm so sorry, they're what? what? They're, they're giving away their Pokemon after they lose Pokemon battles. So I was wondering, for those of us going to the Galar region, is that something we're going to have to do as well? Because I don't want to give away my Do Z not battle. give away your Pokemon. Okay. No, don't give away your Wooloo. Don't you dare. I do not want to give away my Wooloo. Thank you. Yep. Kevin, Precious can you please baby. make a note to look into Team Go Rocket members giving away valuable Pokemon. Well, considering they are only issue Zubats and we have an infinite supply of Zubats, I think we'll be okay one way or another. You make okay. a good point. Alright, let's go. Okay, this yeah. one's for Giovanni and probably your legal team at the same time. Um, I, have a, I work as a lawyer part-time and mm. I have a client who is wants a lawsuit for you for one count of childhood neglect and 11 years worth of child support payments. What is your response, legal response to that? We already covered that. Uh, we've been going to therapy and I'm taking them on vacation next week. I think the paperwork you have is old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please join us on our cruise ship, the SS Aqua. Or was it the SS Am My My client really wants those seven, 11 years of child support. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll get it through the this acquisitions and uh, yeah. wire it to them. The, the, I'm sorry, we'll what? <laughs> next question, next, next question. Next question. <laughs> next question. <laughs> question for the science and research department. With all the crimes against nature that you commit in your uh, experiments, are you concerned with Lord Helix exacting revenge on you eventually? <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir. I resurrected Lord Helix. I am his lord and master. <laughs> Nature shall bow before me. <laughs> I, 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 I honestly, I didn't Next. honestly know that we had also, I'd, members. Also, I'd like of, to thank, uh, thank you very may much. May the Lord uh, RCS save up. us all. I'd like to also thank you in particular. Uh, I'm, it is always good to see my body doubles out and about. Thank you for keeping it, Officer Jenny off my trail. <laughs> so if you're Giovanni, and I'm Giovanni, who's the real Giovanni? Mm. Who's sitting here on the panel? Oh! <laughs> 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 She makes a good point, right. though. Uh, we're, we are getting to the end of our time. I think I, I think we can take two more. Two more. I think two, two more, more questions. Yes. Two more questions. <laughs> two more questions. Yeah. Two more fast questions. Let's go. What do we got? So, what is our plan for capturing possibly the most powerful Pokemon in the Pokemon universe? What are we doing to capture Shrek? <laughs> You know, it is you know, a long and complicated plan, and it would take an entire another panel for me to explain it to you. Unfortunately, so, I have, I have a, I have a story for this actually, because, because uh, uh, Grunt Matt, uh, somebody once told me that the world was 
gonna roll. Hey, Jirachi, Jirachi is an all-star. Get your game on. Oh gosh, go play. Uh, Pokemon Go? Uh, last Rocket question. Go? Last question. Right. What do we got? There we go. So after doing some recon in the Galar region, I have discovered that there are a very promising group of individuals that I think we should recruit. Mm -hmm. Now, they seem to have the uncanny ability to just stand in a spot, dig a hole, and find evolutionary stones. Ooh, They're known what? as the Digging Brothers, and I think they threaten our monopoly on evolutionary stones. Damn. How can we recruit them? And if they refuse, how do we get rid of them? Uh, Refer to your manual, manual, page 205, digging a hole and trapping Pokemon trainers in them. So we trap them in a hole and we don't let them out unless they join us. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting purpose. I, I don't think that you can do that. I, I yeah, haven't seen that work. in any of the uh, paperwork so far. I haven't seen that in any of our manuals or tutorials. <laughs> uh, I don't believe that that is possible. Uh, you, now, <laughs> you, you may want to swing by the test lab someday. We're working on new methods of digging your way out of holes. Oh my. Oh, I, now, uh, I, uh, before we go. I shudder to see how science has advanced. <laughs> Before we go, I do have a request for everyone. Uh, one uh, last assignment, stuffing the ballot box. If you have the guidebook app for MAGFest, you can rate the panel. Please rate it five stars because nobody actually rates panels. So if we have a bunch of votes, we'll have a better chance of having the third annual Team Rocket Summit next year. Thank you all for coming. We hope to see you again. Have a great MAGFest.